Well, hello friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Fun Fold Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I am featuring these particular products to create this card. The Stylish Shapes dies, a couple of the circle ones, Lost Lagoon ink, the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, which is a celebration item, and the Hills of Tuscany. So this is a Lost Lagoon card base. I'm using the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. This piece of basic white is six by four and a quarter. There's some pretty peacock and gold ribbon. There's those two circles and a whole bunch of die cut pieces and a embossed piece that is seven and a half by two and a half and it's been embossed with the softly sophisticated uh, embossing folder that comes as a bundle with the stamp set so i'm going to adhere some of the fussy cut pretty watercolor images to this stitched circle that has been embossed with that embossing folder the 3d embossing folder I also fussy cut the little birdie out and I am going to adhere that to this nest of flowers. I just, I gotta say, I don't like a lot of stamps that have birds on them. I don't know why, but I'm telling you, I really like this flight and airy designer series paper. All right, so about... I would say a half an inch up from the bottom of this uh, basic white thick card. I'm going to slit a, or, or cut a little slit in the crease. And now I'm going to feed the ribbon through. So in case you don't have one of the crafting knives that Stampin' Up! has, you could use an X-Acto knife, same, same thing. Um, and now I'm going to pull the ribbon through so that I can tie a just a, a knot. So right over left and under, um, left over right and through. And it takes me a, a little while just because I want it taut enough so that I make that beautiful square knot. And I but I don't want it bunching. So I made a really nice square knot, t cut, uh, pulled it taut, and then I'm going to cut off the ends in an angle so they don't fray. So this is, it's a little mini card that is going to fit on top of the regular card. So it's kind of a fun fold. It's just a different, I don't know. I don't know what fun fold names are and I don't know what this is called. So. I inked up with Lost Lagoon the sentiment that says I really appreciate you on the circle, the stitch circle, and then I'm using the, uh, this is the Hills of Tuscany uh, stamp set and it says I, I can't remember, <laughs> uh, it says I can't thank you enough. This is the two and a half by seven and a half piece of cardstock. We're going to score it at two and a half and five. I'm going to fold that first corner in and I'm just trying to figure out here. So this is kind of how it's going to go folded like that. And then I am going to put the edge up at a quarter of an inch and I'm going to line up the track on the bottom with that fold. So you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to cut, yes, not score, cut a little triangle off. I do need to have like a little, you can't go corner to corner, corner on this one. So now I have tear tape or tear and tape, I believe it's called. And I'm putting the uh, two strips on the uh, running up and down and on the other side, two strips running uh, side to side. 
and then I'm cutting some of my tear tape in half and then I'm going to put it on the um, angled piece that we cut so but we left a little room for the tape so basically what I am creating is a pocket bookmark so this is like a card that gives a little gift a paper gift so I don't know if you have any readers in your life this is a great idea so I'm trying to use all of my uh, tear tape so I put a little bit on the inside there and here comes the little strip that has been cut in half um, to that uh, top portion that is angled. All right, so I'll show you, it might not make sense right now, but it will, um, especially if we do it in these steps. So I'm removing the release paper from the tear and tape. I didn't have to go like one tear and tape all the way through. That's the reason why I sort of did some on the top and some on the bottom sides and whatever you want to call it. So I'm folding those two in half now. So the only adhesive left to go is this particular um, half piece or diagonally cut piece. So now I'm going to take the release paper off of that one and I'm going to press it down to the rest. So it is a sturdy little bookmark and it is embossed so it feels cool on the fingers. This is how it's going to go. So we're going to put it in the corner of that little mini card that's going to go on your regular card and we're folding that in half. So creasing with my bone folder and then we're going to adhere this Lost Lagoon circle uh, kind of underneath the bookmark. So we're going to kind of see where it's going to lay. And I figured that would be kind of good, like right in that corner there. Um, I put too much on adhesive on to like mess with, <laughs> to mess with it. <laughs> so you might want to uh, maybe use tear tape and sort of figure out and then remove the release paper when you have it properly situated. So this circle goes on top of that circle. So I'm just putting some adhesive down um, on this piece and then my little circle gets a backing. So isn't that cute? And then um, I'm just going to put some more greenery on the or some more flowers on this bookmark because there wasn't enough. I really like these. These are very painterly, watercolory. I love watercolor. If I had time, that's what I would do as a hobby. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I, I definitely try. I have lots of the products to watercolor with. All right, so here is the little mini book. And like you can see, it's a little off kilter, but um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to adhere some of the fussy cut flowers to the inside of the card. So what I have chosen to do for my New Year's resolution is to try to decorate the inside of cards because I felt after 10 years of card making, maybe I can do the next 10 with uh, decorations on the inside. All right, so let's just put this little matte piece together. And this is again, uh, I believe it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I like tiny borders for this. And I am putting a piece of just copy paper on the inside, it has adhesive on it. And I will adhere some of my extra flowers and decorate the inside of this card. So not only do you get to decorate the outside of the cards, you get to, you know, use a little bit on the inside. And sometimes I feel that we leave such an open room, like a white space, I guess, on the inside of a card that it can be daunting to actually write something to the person. So this way it um, leaves less room to have to write a ton of stuff to your recipient. Isn't that funny? I don't know. Is anybody else like me? Sometimes I just don't have enough. I try to write big. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this mini card in front, make sure everything is nice and straight. And then there goes the bookmark. So the card still looks great without the bookmark, not as flourished, but still for those readers in your life. You can see all the supplies I use listed below in the video see more section or in the supply section of my blog. And those fast links are going to take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.